So I've had a request for a snack. Sorry. <laughs> At least it feels like it. I've had a request for snack updates throughout this trip. Here is another weird one that we got. This is Joyride Uncommon Candy Zero Sugar Sour Gummy Worms. They taste like you think, um, <laughs> like garbage. No, I mean they're they're actually not that bad. They're not. I mean they're not that good. But when you're dealing with zero sugar candy, you're not expecting. To, to, uh, you're expecting just to. It's gross. Yeah, you're expecting to just feel a tinge of what it's like to have sugar, right? So, I mean, it does that. It makes me feel like I kind of am having sugar just a little bit, and I guess that's good enough. I don't know, but it's gross. <laughs> it has to be, right? <laughs> We're in Dallas, guys, and guess where we are? Thrift City. This is going to be good. This is a little uh, smaller. Well, actually, it's a big thrift store, but it's not like a chain, I don't think. So maybe we'll have some luck here. I'd love to find some sports stuff. Don, would you love to find some sports stuff? No. <laughs> She's kidding. She wants to find sports stuff. So what did you think of Thrift City, Don? Oh, it's terrible. Terrible? <laughs> Way overpriced. Way You sure you don't want to pay $10 for a Minnie Mouse plush? A no. baby one, not even a real Disney store one, guys. Uh, thrifting is exhausting. A good thrift store is amazing. A bad thrift store is uh, depressing. We decided to go to a baseball game, guys. Here we are, Global Life Field. I'm excited, you excited, Don? This is fun. I love when I'm going across the country to hit a baseball game. Went to a Cardinals game last year. This year, we're gonna see the Rangers, who are really good this year. They're like 60 and 30 or 40 or something. So they're one of the, I think they're first. So this is gonna be good. I'm looking forward to it. Nolan Ryan. A pretty cool stadium. Fully retractable roof. It's roof closed, so it's like, air conditioned in here isn't it it's really nice this is wild it's like being in a giant nba stadium or something wild i don't usually spend like 45 dollars on a hat and as a thrifter i don't but i couldn't resist that's one of the fun things i like to do at sporting events one splurge so we just had a home run firewalk fireworks went off don was filming diligently and uh, she forgot to press record <laughs> That's typical. My phone's dead, so you gotta rely on Don. Just a couple of bobbleheads hanging out. Like Kevin. <laughs> Got my new hat from the game last night. We're gonna spend a few more hours here in Dallas, hit a few more thrift stores, and maybe a card shop. We'll see how it goes. So hopefully we have better luck than we had yesterday. We went to that thrift city. It was absolutely terrible. Uh, it was bad, wasn't it? Was it was awful. Card shop was pretty good. We're gonna try, there was like a place called Texas Thrift last time we were in Dallas, that was pretty good. Um, Goodwill maybe, I don't know. Texas could be a bust, hopefully it isn't. Follow along with us. Hopefully we find like a gold bar that they don't realize is a gold bar, Don, <laughs> and we can get it for pennies it's on the dollar. Silver. silver would be good, platinum is really expensive. This is new for us this year, Don. This is the first time I think we've done this on the road. We're delivering four different packages. We sold two sets of stickers, thank you guys so much. One was a fake reseller one, and the other one was like no Beanie Babies or something. Pretty good <laughs> stuff. And also, I sold a card on what not buy it now, which was exciting That's for me. First time. Yeah, buy here we it. go. Here's here's the hook to the video. What not is destroying eBay. Say goodbye, eBay. <laughs> but in all seriousness, what not is not destroying eBay. eBay's different. I think what not as time goes on will have more and more buy it now stuff. But the cool thing about Whatnot, and I think eBay will do this eventually, is from the Buy It Now section and Whatnot, you can just click over and put it directly into the live auction format. And when eBay Live does it, Don, I think eBay Live is going to do that as Same well. Thing. I think that's the future as part of it. Mm -hmm. But Whatnot's a really different thing. We did live auctions for how many years, Don? A few. A few. We did live auctions in my store. We did live auctions for other companies. I was an auctioneer. Um, it was a lot of fun, but here's the thing. It was totally different than eBay. We would buy differently for, for our live auction, and now our live auction is whatnot. We buy different. We buy super low, and we sell in like little lots, or we, we just sell stuff that we know particular people who come to our whatnot, or back in the day, our live auction would buy. So it's a different animal. It's just another way to sell. That's really the truth. Whatnot is another way to sell. You know, Bonanza technically is a way to sell, I guess. I mean, Kevin... Kevin is single-handedly, Commonwealth Picker guys, is keeping Bonanza alive. He, he gets he, what, a sell every he four is, months? He is keeping, whatever wherever they have a little office in the U.S. or wherever, 
he's keeping the rent paid there single-handedly. All right, first stop, Texas Thrift. We stopped at a different location last year. Hopefully this is good. I'm excited. They had some decent stuff. It seemed promising at the other location last year. So hopefully we find some stuff. We really need to find some stuff. We got toys. This place kind of reminds me of Savers a little bit. Let's see if we can find some stuff. Don't buy these guys. They don't sell very well, unless they're the brand new ones. And for like one day only. Avon guys, stay away. At least they're not charging too much for it. We're doing an auction with Dave in a couple days when we're in Florida. This may do well, so we're gonna pick this up. Cool Star Lord mug. Turn around. You were just saying we gotta hit all these Texas thrifts, right? Oh, yeah. I told you they were good. They seemed good last time. There's a Disney new with the tag right there. Nice. New with what the tag. How much is the whole bag? $2.99. Oh yeah, that's a steal. Do it. Look at all these bags of plushes, guys. Dave said we gotta get plushes for the auction. So we should just buy, ooh, look at this. This is a, that's a, the character, what's his name from a Sonic, but this is like a RC car or something or RC boat. That's weird. I want to check it out. It's only two bucks. Wow. Dawn's going to love this place. There was, she's looking at the plushes in a different section. Look at all the plushes here. It's insane. I'm going to let her enjoy this. I'm going to look briefly, but I'll let her have at this. She's going to find probably like 20 bags. So after just spending... $45 on this hat. It's nice to find an official MOB hat right here. Nice one, Cubs 147 brand. Only three bucks, not in perfect condition. I'm gonna pick it up. You got a lot of plushes, Don. What do you think? Awesome, these are all sleek. I know, I found some Schleek horses already too, right here. Right here. We got more. Awesome. Schleek horses, guys, look out for them. Awesome, nice. Yeah. This is a stadium giveaway from this year at a Rangers game. XL 599, Coca Cola one. Not super amazing. A new one sold for like 20 plus shipping. I think this will get like 12 to 15. 12 to 15 plus shipping. I'm gonna pick it up. I love this kind of stuff. So Don found quite a few bags of plushes as I imagine. Don, you wanna show us what you got? This for $1.99. $1.99? That's a Star Wars guy. Like some stroop. Yeah, that's a deal. For $1.99, it's hard to pass up. This is a Taj but. Has puppets. Oh, nice. We love the puppets. There's a Minecraft guy right there. This one's actually pretty good. This one has. Oh, that's got a Big Hero 6 on it. Disney Store. Yeah. And that and an Elmo. And an Elmo. Nice. We got an avocado guy. Oh my gosh. Sonic. Sonic. Uh, what's his name? Tweety Bird? What's his name? No. Uh, Peacock. Woodstock. What? Woodstock. Oh my gosh. And Mickey. Well, that's only three bucks for that whole bag. And Mickey. That's insane. Yeah. What else? You know about this. Is that a soccer player or someone? Oh, that, you know what that is? That's Megan. No, I don't know who that is. But that might be somebody good. I'm going to have to look it up. And it's the World's Cup right now. The World Cup right now. So that's pretty nice. Right. This one has Droopy Dog or something? Yeah, Droopy Dog. $2.99 for this bag right here. Uh, We've got Eeyore. Uh, um, Snoopy. That's from Secret Life of Pets. Snoopy. Snoopy. Gosh, these are some deals right here. They're trying to move these oh, plushes. Oh, there's a shelf on an elf or elf on a elf shelf. Elf on a shelf. Here's another one. Who's in this? We've oh, got, that's oh, the one I showed you already. Oh, yeah. That Winnie the Pooh is cool, yep. though. Then, this one just has, like, the applause. This is all... This is Disney. This is kind of cool. And then just had some cute, like, Halloween things for $2.99. Just the great prices. Goodness gracious. Here's a Pikachu one. Yeah, and that's vintage. Oh, is that There's, vintage? I just dropped... Oh, 1998. Wow. See, that's cool. I wonder if that one's special. We'll have to look that up. That's awesome. Most of this is going to go on our whatnot that we're going to do with Dave in a couple days. ADH Dave, this is if lamb you don't know. Chop. Vintage lamb chop. Vintage lamb chop. Uh, nice. Puppet. And then this is vintage. The vintage, as well. vintage. Two ninety nine yeah, again. Cute. Great. And this just has a whole bunch of some sums and little. Some sums new with the tags. Two ninety nine. A lot of all the little small ones. That's awesome. Man, this is cool. For Did really good. This makes you feel a lot better, right? Because we hadn't been doing that Not great. More. It's a go. whole lot of small like those. Neo, how do we call those Neopets? Neopets or There's something? There's a whole bunch of keychains we can just lot up oh, those together are cute. for $1.99. Those are way, way cute, way cute. Yeah, then we got another bag right here. Let's see. This bag has... Wow. <laughs> this is... Who's this? That's from a lady, Lady in the Tramp. There's a new with the one. tag, Rodney. Whoever Rodney is, we got it. There's just a mm. bunch of cute little plushes in Tons here. Tons of them. Tons of, oh, monsters. Who's that? That's Eddie Monster, I think. Eddie Monster. The and then old there's man, the, the grandpa? Oh, is that the grandpa? I forgot the grandpa's oh, no, name. It's, no, it's not. You're I don't right. know who that You're is. Right. I know it's the grandpa, I think. Or maybe it's Eddie. Let us know, guys, which one it is. And then there's a Chick-fil-A cow, Paw Patrol. Nice. 
Good job, Don. Thanks. I knew you would enjoy that. Oh, yeah. That's how stinking cute. Look he is. He's only two dollars. He's only two got bucks. The I think we got to get him. Yes. Right? Right? Mm -hmm. Right? Right? I guess. I guess. I figured since I had my glasses on my hat, like Kevin the Commonwealth Picker, this is a good time, Don, to talk about list perfectly. We bought a lot of stuff, guys. We bought a lot of stuff, and the stuff that we're gonna put on eBay, we can cross list to Mercari, Poshmark, Grailed, Depop, Kittison. I think there's a couple more too that I don't remember, but we can cross list using list perfectly. If you wanna try it out, Don, do you know what my code is? Um, no. American Arbitrage. That's close. It is American Arbitrage, but you got to add 30 on that. American Arbitrage 30. That's for 30% off. It's clever. I like That's it. Awesome. 30% off, guys, if you want to try it for the first month. All that. Um, infomercials. Infomercials. And you can like, do you got tons of stuff to list? Can you list this bear and that bear and this? We'll go to list perfectly right now and get 30% off. Dawn's brainstorming. <laughs> Dawn is brainstorming, and I don't know if she knew. She might have been hamming it up, what? but <laughs> you're you're on the camera. Oh, my God. We were brainstorming you possible. Uh, no, no. Like an idiot. No, no, no. You're fine. You're focusing on the road. I'm focusing on me. That's a potential list perfectly ad in the future. We're thinking of crazy stuff. I want to get a suit and look like I'm like in like some law commercial or something. We may we may do some fun little uh, little ad spots. We're gonna have fun with this. We're gonna have fun with it, right, Don? Okay, you wanna wear the suit? How about this? I act like I'm a cop and I'm arresting you. It's like it's a criminal. What a good deal you get through this perfectly with thirty percent off. <laughs> there we go. There we go, guys. There we go. It's criminal. Thirty percent off, guys. Thirty percent off. <laughs> if this doesn't convince you, I don't know what will. So since we're on a roll right now, guys, we also have uh, My Reseller Genie. Don, do you have any ideas for My Reseller Genie? Do you remember what my code is for My Reseller Genie? It's American Arbitrage something. Yeah, it's just American Arbitrage. Oh. So there's, it's 15% off the first month. You don't have to put the 1.5 on it. It's just American Arbitrage. But what, what can we do for My Reseller Genie, Don? I don't know. You can do so well. Do you not have three degrees? Yeah. Do you not have, know how to ask Do you that? not have three degrees? <laughs> Do you? Because if you do, you could be a reseller. It's fun. I like it. I do like reselling. No, use my reseller genie. He does it for you. There we go. There we go. It keeps track of everything, guys. You know the spiel. It keeps track of your stuff. You can tran you can transport. You can put all your stuff on eBay on there. It keeps track of it, guys. American Arbitrage is the code. You know, let's have Are you fun not with good this. With money, like Gary. <laughs> so Don, we're in Texas. We're in we Texas. We gotta have barbecue. So what better place to go than McDonald's? Pick us up a McRib sandwich. That's the Texas way. You ready for the song of the day, Don? What is it? The song of the day. We were just singing it. Do you remember it? I'm not singing it. You it's 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 a classic like... from I think the New Beats, 1964. I like bread and butter. I like toast and jam. That's what baby feeds, or is that baby feeds me? I don't know. I'm her loving man. Oh! I'm gonna let you in on a little inside baseball. We've been at Texas Thrift for like 20 minutes. Don's been inside. I was in the car doing voiceovers for TikTok for the shorts. It's just easier to do when I can focus. Uh, so I got a card one done and I got a regular channel one done, but that's what you gotta do when you're picking across America. You've gotta take some time out and Dawn's always in the thrift store much longer than me. I'll be done probably before she's even half done, even though I'm coming in 20 minutes late. Sure, you're saying this one's like night and day. It's not as good as the other one. Oh no, that must be the dump all place where they send everything that doesn't sell because this is like. Like, yeah, four four dollars. This is like maybe seven or eight new. What's wrong? Dawn's already going to go sit in the car, and I'm gonna look real quick. So yeah, this one might not be that good, but there's a couple more Texas thrift locations we're gonna check out. I think I may have found the most Texas thing to ever Texas. Look at that. At one time, he was gonna be the next big thing, Darnold, but he didn't pan out at all. It's a cool jersey though. It's not worth it though. Here we go, I love it. Semi-vintage, it's like early 2000s or mid 2000s. XXL, Jamal Tinsley, Indiana jersey. This is good, 13, I'll pick this up. Sick. This is cool because Verlander just got traded back to the Astros yesterday. This is a stadium giveaway from when he was on the Astros before. $5.99. This will be like $20, maybe $30 right now. So I found a couple Packers uniforms as I drop one on the floor. It's a little nuanced on these. I'm going to pick one up and I'm not going to pick up another one. This is 
Charles Woodson right here. Hall of Famer. This one I'm getting, it's a little more random and I think a little bit more popular of a player than Greg Jennings, or at least Greg Jennings stuff is super available. He was a, around kind of recently. This is a borderline buy at 17, but the, the Woodson, the lows are like in the probably like 40, 50, $60 range and there's no recent sales. So I'm going to pick this one up. So I found a couple Cowboys jerseys right here. This Tony Romo is nice. It's an official one, but they're pretty common. It's Stitch. It's like 17. I might get 25 or 30. I'm going to pass on this one, but I am going to get this Classics Keyshawn Johnson. He only played a few years with the Cowboys. The lowest one on eBay, I think, is around 50. They're asking, I think, what is it, 17. A little pricey, but I really wanted to get a Cowboys jersey out here. And this will sell for a profit, probably double my money, give or take. Pretty cool. So I'm excited to pick up those jerseys. That was like my main thing I wanted to find on this trip outside of cards was jerseys, hats, and sports cards. I told Don yesterday, I think I was my goal was like 10 jerseys, not even that many, and I think I got four in that thrift store just now. Um, we're, we don't have eBay on right now to post them, so if you guys want any of those jerseys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on Whatnot. We have our Rolo printer with us, and we do have that $15 code. If you're new to Whatnot, you could save $15. I'm going to ask roughly what they go for on eBay, maybe a little bit less, and you can make an offer on Whatnot. It's just to buy it now. It's just easy for us so we don't have to have a 6,000 listing eBay store on while we're gone uh, and listing to it as we go. It just makes it way more complicated. So if you want any of those jerseys, check it out. You can make an offer. You can use that $15 code and it would save you a little bit of money. What do you think, Don? Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> this is the biggest Texas thrift so far. This is the last one before we go to eat some brisket. We got a lot of suggestions on where we should hit up here in Dallas. And a lot of people said pecan or pecan or pecans. So we're gonna go try that. I'll let you know. You'll see some video, I guess, if you guys are interested in that. But hopefully it's good. Dawn is in her happy place. Tons of plushies here too. You finding anything? I'm good. Nice. Oh my gosh. Thank <laughs> you. That's awesome. We're gonna we're gonna put this, this is gonna take up all the space. Oh yeah. I love it. That's nice. This is cute. Oh, that is cute. I think this would do well in Dave's auction. Beanie balls. We got different teams. People love their teams. Kind of cute, kind of weird, kind of off-putting. This looks kind of newer, but I believe it's actually vintage with this Wilson tag, 499. This is uh, Emmett Smith's number, 22. I'm gonna pick this up. You know, it's probably not a big, uh, big winner, but I can't pa pass it up. I'll put it through whatnot, maybe. This is actually already vintage 2003, guys, it is vintage Steelers $1.99 schedule shirt. That's pretty cool. It's in decent condition. I'm gonna pick that up. So we were driving to the Pecan Lounge to eat and we saw this Thrift Giant. It's a big, another giant thrift store here in Dallas. So we're gonna check it out real quick, see if we have any luck. They're asking, they're asking 20, 20 to 70. This is new with the tag. It's kind of ornate and cool. And we got an iguana. Oh, he's got a little bow tie. He's I a gentleman. He, was cute. he looks older. And he is cute. That does look like '90s he's to me. Googly eyes. Googly eyes. That's he's cute. Only but there we I go. Like ah, there you go. This is kind of cool. This is the retro style. Guess who? I thought it was the original one from the '80s sealed, but this is a Target remake they did. So I'm gonna pick this up. It's like five bucks. Take a flyer on it. I don't like board games, but when they're sealed, I might try them. Quick question, guys. We're in Dallas, like downtown. These off-ramps and on-ramps, they seem very unsafe. <laughs> yeah. They seem very, very unsafe. Like there's five, five feet to get off and five feet to get on. And how do you get to speed? Is it always just so slow in downtown Dallas that it's okay? It seems dangerous. Well, it's like that all over Texas. I Everywhere know. we go. It's going. wild. It's wild. I just thought, well, <laughs> we're going by this and Dawn's like, what is that? Medieval times, what is that? I'm like, you don't know what medieval times is? I grew up in California, Medi medieval times. If I still lived in California, that would have definitely been one of the jobs I had growing up, Don. I am- A joker? <laughs> no, I'm a medieval times kind of guy, but I'm not like one of the performers. I don't think I would do well on horses, but I would I would serve like the giant leg of, of chicken. You know what I mean? And probably drop it on the floor. So the food looks really good. I'm assuming it's gonna be very good. We're just gonna share this. But this is the key guys, if you ever have like a restaurant or a store or anything, just get a mix match of chairs. Be so cool and hip that you can just get any kind of used chair and it works. It actually is a cool aesthetic, but it's also probably super affordable, right Don? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm choking. Nine miles, Don. Nine miles. We haven't been to Bucky's in a long time. But we've made it, Don. This Bucky's is huge. I think this is a new one, and I 
think this is the one we were hearing about, Don, that's like the biggest in the in the world. Giant Bucky pool noodles. These are awesome. I don't even have a pool, but Dave has a pool. These are dope. These are really, really cool. What is it? What is it? I have no idea. What is this? It's a drencher toy. So like it'll shoot water out at you. Oh, so you fill it with water? Yeah. And you go... It's actually kind of dope. <laughs> I don't know what it... Sorry. This is cute. That is cute. These are cute. I like them. Yeah, it's not even that expensive, really. Theoretically, I guess. What's up, dude? What's up? 